My name is Carsten Voss. I am an application scientist at BioRats Process Chromatography Group. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about mixed mode chromatography. Mixed mode chromatography, by definition, utilizes two interactions in chromatography, two interaction principles. And with most of the common resins that are currently on the market, uh, you will always find hydrophobic interaction chromatography combined with ion exchange. But when you take a look at the definition of mixed mode chromatography, you will also find that an, another of our bio-red resins, the ceramic hydroxy apatite, is also a mixed mode chromatography material. So, and in this case, hydroxy apatite makes use of uh, electrostatic action in form of cation exchange and a metal affinity which is comparable to the IMAC principle. When discussing about mixed mode chromatography, people are wondering if this type of chromatography is, is fairly new in purifications and what you will realize is that the intentional use of mixed mode is definitely new but everyone who's doing chromatography has always been observing mixed mode effects on his resin. So when you're taking a look at ion exchanges uh, you will realize that you have the functional group coupled uh, via spacer to the base bead and the spacer and the base bead they can contribute a hydrophobic portion to the overall interaction and then that is the reason why you're observing mixed mode effect also in ion exchangers and these result in the different behavior of different particles that can use in chromatography. Another point is when you look at the historical development of resins and take a closer look at hydrophobic interaction chromatography, you will find that early descriptions of mixed mode were given when the hydrophobic interaction resins were invented and described in papers. So in the early 17s, uh, these kind of, of Higg ligands were coupled to chromatographic materials and this was done by a functional group, usually an amino group, which is of course capable of carrying a charge. So you've got a charge group and this way also you got a mixed mode interaction in your chromatographic particle. In this way you see that the people always got experience with mixed mode chromatography. Question is, why now make use of mixed mode uh, interactions intentionally? And uh, it has been found out during the recent 10 to 15 years that mixed mode interaction in comparison to the single interaction have certain benefits to the chromatographic process. The combination of these two principles results in unique separation behavior in the chromatographic process. Uh, in addition to the separation behavior, you're always also capable of uh, loading your feed material to the chromatographic material at a broader range of conductivity. So this is an advantage. You don't have to manipulate your feed stream, which means adding or removing salt uh, to fine tune the conductivity for binding. And that is certainly an additional advantage of mixed mode. Also, the newer particles that are developed offer the opportunity to make use of electrostatic repulsion over the electrostatic functional group to uh, facilitate very efficient illusion from the chromatographic mixed mode resin and this results in, in very good recoveries. Biorat's been launching the Nuvia C prime a couple of years ago so this type of mixed mode material is a combination of hydrophobic interaction and cation exchange and the ligand by design is uh, in, in that way tailored that the portion of the hydrophobic interaction is, is only weakly present in comparison to other mixed mode resins that are on the market. And Steve Kramer from RPI recently uh, published data on the Nuvia C prime ligand where he's been analyzing its hydrophobicity in comparison to other material and he could clearly show that the C prime ligand shows less hydrophobicity so you have less risk of aggregation of aggregation prone target molecules. Uh, you also avoid strong hydrophobic binding which makes illusion more difficult and this is another additional advantage you will have with Biorad's mixed mode chromatography resin. When you're taking a look at the older products in the pipeline like the ceramic hydroxy there, 
these resins are considered to be universal polishing resin due to the combination of the mixed mode effects where you've got metal affinity and, and in this case uh, for the metal affinity, usually the uh, carboxy function of the proteins are coordinating to the calcium sites. And on the other side, you have the classical ion exchange over the phosphate groups where charged amino groups from the protein go into actual interaction with the phosphate groups. And, and these are the two interactions that you really can, can fine tune with the sodium chloride concentration, the pH of your uh, fluid phase, and of course, you can uh, modify the stronger interaction with the metal affinity by increasing or decreasing the phosphate concentration. For more information, you can uh, go onto the BioRed website on BioRed.com. You can request samples there, and next to it, you can also contact your local BioRed representative. Thank you.